Good morning, good morning. We're back. We're here. We'll do a little bit of a warm up just to begin with. So, starting with feet together, two hands pushing sky, nice deep breaths. Let's breathe in, clasping the hands. We're going to breathe out, stretch. Breathing in, and relax, breathing out. Same again, breathe in, breathing out. Breathe in. And relax. One more time. Okay. All right. Very, very nice. Let's bring the feet apart. We're going to roll through the shoulders. I'm going to say a quick hello. Um, hello to Louise and Danny. Hello to Delilah's in Spain. Hello. Um, let me see. Charlotte, good morning to you. Alan. And we had Yola and Lynn as well, and Jean, see you later when you come in here. Um, and I did see, I did see that Team Qigong in the South was also working with Professor Hu Xiaofei when he was in the South before heading up north here. Lucky you guys too, <laughs> right? Okay, let's take this movement. We're coming into the body, let's sink. Roll through, dropping down to the ground and then push from your feet all the way back up again, letting go, breathe out. Keep an eye on these knees, keep the knees in line with the toes, don't let them collapse. Feel the whole body move. Okay, let's go in the other direction with these shoulders. Again, just some nice big movements. Lizzie, hello to you as well. Good morning. Feel the movements through the rib cage. Again, it's the opening up, especially as it's turned it's turned cold, but actually it's fairly mild again today. So it is so changeable. And this is why we need to keep moving. Make sure the tension hasn't crept in too much. We need to breathe. All right, let's sink. Breathing out. Push. And drop. Rolling through. Okay, very, very nice. Let's do our balancing of plates, shall we? So starting with the hand at the back, we're going to do a nice big sweep. Let's sweep around. And again, keep the body relaxed. Let the weight drop down to your feet. Keep yourself nice and stable on the ground. 
and the upper body light and open. Okay, we'll go in the other direction, forward and out, coming around. Okay, all right, two hands together. Let's bring them around. And we're coming back nice and open again. Gently does it. All right, we'll go the other way forwards, out and around. Okay. All right. Good. Let's take the fingers and we're going to stretch through the fingers one by one. Okay, so everything is nice and light. We're going to take the thumbs and we're going to extend out through the ends of the thumbs and then relax. We're going to do the same with the index fingers and the middle fingers. Ring fingers and the little fingers. Okay, feel the movement through all of them. Let's go one, relax, two, three, four, five, two, five, One, three, four, two, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, good. Wiggle the fingers. <laughs> and let's wiggle through the wrists. Everything nice and loose. Really important to have this movement, the flexibility, the softness. Let's move through the elbows, just loosening the joints. Same with the shoulders. Let's gently move through the neck. Nothing vigorous, lots of space. And we're going to move down the length of the spine, all the way down to the hips. Let's shake one leg, shake the other leg. All right, we're going to work up from the toes. So let's sink the weight on one side. All right, we're going to push these toes back. So we're going all the way from the big toe to the little toe and back again. And remember, a big part of all of this is really to engage with yourself, engage with the body, engage with the movement. Feel what is going on. and actively press and release. Okay, good. Let's move through the ankle, just everything nice and soft, nice and loose. You can do the same with the knee. Let me shift our focus again, we'll come up to the hip 
and open through this hip joint. Make sure we're staying nice and steady where we are. And then a big circle, okay? If you're feeling steady enough or hold on to something, we want to come up and open. Okay, good. Same on the other side, let's sink the weight. Moving through these toes one by one. Again, feel. When you release, try and relax. Okay, good. Ankle. Really soft, really loose. Shift your attention to the knee. Moving up to the hip. Okay, nice and steady, up and open. If you're not comfortable standing on one leg, swinging the other one around, keep the foot on the floor and do the smaller circle, not a problem. Okay. All right, very, very nice. Let's stand for a moment. <clears throat> Let's really bring our attention, our awareness to ourselves. Feet underneath the hip joints. Okay. You want to feel the alignment of the body over the feet, neatly stacked. And if everything is aligned, the structure is sound, we can take a deep breath and we're going to breathe in and lift through the top of the crown. Breathing out, we're going to let go. Feel the weight of the body sinking, release, feel of that space opening up, feel the pelvis hang from the end of the spine, the legs like an archway supporting the rest of the body, and the feet like two archways at the base, supporting the whole body. And we want to breathe, breathing deep breaths into the belly. As you breathe in, feel the breath drawn down, filling the belly. As you breathe out, just letting go. Okay, let's bring the hands together. Slowly raising the hands overhead, just rotating through the shoulders. Feel the shoulders soft, sinking down as the hands come up. Palms up. Breathing in. We're going to push up with the hands, down with the feet. Breathing out, relax, 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 relax. 
Okay, let's twist. We're going to coil from the ground up. All right, coming back. And we twist. Okay, good. Coming back. We're going to lift and reach, extend, and again, relax, release. Coming back. Lift, extend, again, letting go. Feel the weight of the upper body. And we come back. And release. All right, very, very nice. Let's bring the feet a little bit further apart. We are going to let the arms go. We'll do a gentle tap. It's always good to tap the body as well. Get the blood flowing. Know that you're still here. Let's come out on the heel. Soft knees. Coming in on the toe. All right. All right. Very, very nice. And so let's take a little break. Grab yourself some water. Today's movement. All right. <clears throat> Before we get into today's movement, um, there's this wonderful quote about how nature in itself, you know, when we, when we work with ourselves, and I, I said, stay dynamic, we need to keep moving in order to stay in balance with nature. Nature is always shifting. The wind is blowing, the next day the sun is out. The seasons are always changing. We have to adapt and move in order to stay with that. But the point of all of this is to be present. Nature doesn't hurry. Nature doesn't push uh, in winter time for the trees to grow and the flowers to bloom. Nature doesn't in springtime uh, hurry the fruit to fall from the trees because nature just takes its time and it happens when it is ready. And this is an old quote from Lao Tzu about nothing, nothing being hurried. Nature doesn't hurry because in nature, everything is accomplished anyway. And so with this in mind, it is important to be present and pay attention. How do you know how much you need to be active without pushing too far and hurrying things along. And this is where the mind is very, very important to be able to bring our mind to ourselves and just relax, that idea of release, the letting go. Because if we're thinking too much, it clouds everything and our judgment is, is not so clear. But if we pay attention and listen, 
and give that space to listen. Nature informs us all by itself. So today's movement is working with the season, working with the weather. Um, but we're actually going to look at a movement um, up here uh, in the northeast corner of Scotland. We uh, worked with the Bagran Jin with uh, Professor Hu. And beautiful set of movements, one of the oldest sets uh, of, of Qigong, the Bagran Jin, the eight pieces of brocade. And the first movement is about the triple burner within the body. It's an awful lot to go into the purpose of the triple burner because it's not something that we have in Western medicine, but generally speaking, overall, it is um, about the three regulations within the body and the temperatures within the body and the transportation of the energy that, that we produce with our breath and with our food. We need to have enough warmth to digest the food. And then there is an energy that then comes up to the lungs, a finer energy that then is spread all the way to the skin and just, just beyond the skin, this radiating warmth that you have. This is your defensive chi, very important at this time of year. Um, but also um, the, the, the sort of drainage ditch that they talk about, that you need to be able to uh, continue to process what you take in, take the nutrients out, but getting rid of the waste as well. So this is a fantastic move for regulating this uh, triple heater, triple burner, and uh, boosting the immune system, boosting the lungs to get this uh, defensive chi working, but also to help get rid of what we don't need. Are you ready? So this time of year, of course, we want to stay a little bit cozier, a little bit warmer, keep yourself well hydrated. The lungs don't like to be too dry. So we need this moisture in the body. Now this particular movement, we do step in and out of it, but effectively the feet when we step out are about shoulder width apart, okay? We'll get to the step in a moment. The arms, the arms are going to extend up in front of us like this, fairly well extended, the shoulders are nice and soft and down, okay? From here, we turn the palms down and we have this um, sort of almost like you're trying to pull something apart that little bit. The heels of the hands go back just a fraction, okay? Now there's a symmetry here. So I'm just going to stay at the side for the moment so you can see because the hands are then going to come together and the fingers interlock, all right, like this. But as they do this, we drop the body and we drop the head down. Now, as we drop the head down, there is a slight movement up the way from the C7, the big bone at the base of the neck, okay? Very important area here also for protecting against uh, all the pathogens outside. We tend to tense this up when it's cold, so we wanna keep this flowing and open all around here. Okay, from here, we push the feet down and the hands start to raise up. We keep going, we keep going, we keep going. We're going to look up at these hands as we push up. We can still see, yeah. Then we look ahead. Then we let go. The hands come out. Then we relax. Okay, so it's not a terribly complicated move, but you do want to feel all the bits and pieces working, put the mind in the right places, okay? So let's have a look at this again. So again, we sweep up in front, keep the shoulders soft, palms down, and drop the body, drop the chin, lift through the C7. Then we push the feet down, start to stretch the legs, the hands come up, Follow the hands with the eyes looking up. Look ahead. 
then we let go, then we let go. Okay, now there's a few things going on here. Effectively, we're coming down, we're stretching up, and we're letting go. So, you know, the, the movement, like I said, in itself isn't so complicated. We'll, we will have a few more practice runs of this. But the points that we want to work on are, again, when we come down, we're round with these arms. Don't let the elbows sink in. So we have this roundness so that we can already open up through the back that little bit through this whole area. We're not upright and, and expanded. The soft, we're round along with this uh, dropping down of the chin. When we come up, we're pushing the feet down. Don't scrunch the neck up. Is that a word, scrunch? It is now. <laughs> you want to feel as you follow these hands up that you give the neck some space. We're not here. Give the neck some space. Looking up, looking up, looking up. Then we look ahead. Now in this position, try as much as you can to have the sides of the arms against your ears. This is the tricky bit. So the shoulders need to be relaxed here. If the shoulders are up, there's too much tension in the rib cage. Okay, relax the shoulders, relax the pelvis down. Then we let go. So as the hands come out, there's a slight sideways push. So we, again, work through the wrist before we relax and let the arms come back down again. Okay. Let's do this with steps. So we're going to step over to your left, first of all. The feet are together. We're going to sink the weight. Step and sweep up. Coming round, sinking down. And we lift, push, stretch, then look ahead. Then we come back and relax. To your right, sweep up. We're breathing in. Coming down, breathing out. Bend the knees a little. Moving up, breathe in. Stretch, look ahead. Breathe out. Okay, so there's the count with this. One, we breathe in. Two, we breathe out. Three, breathing in. Four, breathing out. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so we're going to do this together four counts of eight. So we just do it left and right four times round before we'll come to a close. Um, when we do this movement, like I said, the, the, the triple burner that we are working on, working through uh, also our, our digestive system, it works uh, through all of the organ functions in the body or the majority of them when, when it comes to this idea of not just uh, aiding in getting the energy that, that we need, but also aiding in getting that to travel throughout the whole body. It is the spleen that supports the lungs. We need to keep the lungs particularly healthy this time of year. And of course, uh, all of this, the, the, the energy input is important just to keep us going keep us with enough energy to do what we need to do. Not to run and jump around, it's not that time of year, but, 
but just to stay cozy, stay warm. Uh, hello to Janet as well, who's going to join later. Good stuff. All right, four counts of eight. Let's do this together. Feet together, arms at the sides. Feel the breath in the belly, the whole body relax. One, breathe in. Two, breathe out. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, two, breathe in, two, breathe out. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, three, breathe in, two, breathe out, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, four, breathe in. Two, breathe out. Three. Four. Five. Six. Eight. Let's bring some circles to the belly, breathing in. Breathing out. Okay. Nice deep breaths. It's a good one, huh? Very, very very nice. All right. 
Well, before I go and uh, you guys go about your day, um, I hope you like the uh, the chi tea that I am wearing. <laughs> it comes in a few different colors. Uh, you can get these on the Tai Chi Forum uh, shop website, along with various other things. Uh, tai Chi Forum run by Nils Klug over in uh, Germany. And I will be in Germany next June, the middle of June, um, doing some Daoyin uh, Qigong 14th and 15th. I think all the information is also on the website uh, there. So looking forward to that. Um, and I don't know, maybe see some of you there as well. But that is us for today. Hope you guys have a great week. Let's take hold of our left thumbs. Well done, guys. Take care. Bye.